Welcome back, guys. We'll talk about the poll results in a second. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Telman for reminding me that uh, I said I'd show you an email that I got from the developers, and here it is. Uh, this was sent by Tom, who's the community manager, and he just sent this to me. Like I didn't, I didn't write to them first. He just did. Uh, so here we go. Um, I was catching up on the latest videos of your Transport Fever series, and from what I understand, there are some open questions. Admittedly, the game does not explain itself very well when it comes to cargo potential and choosing destinations. So here are some things which I hope uh, will help to get a better understanding. So. Updating potential and figure out, figuring out demand can take some time, a couple of weeks of in-game time. Uh, and unfortunately, it's much more when the four times slower mod is used. So there you go. So the four times slower mod affects how long it takes to figure out the demand. And therefore, like updating that is going to take a whole lot. Yeah, so so that those little uh, kind of delays between... The, uh, the the resources and the pr processing factories and the ultimate destination getting updated are all getting kind of messed up. Well, this is taking a lot longer, like four times longer. Okay, so um, shipping to multiple destinations. Now, this was very interesting. Uh, it should work fine, but cargo will choose the route and therefore the destination that it gets to cheapest. Right. That explains a lot. Right, so for example, down here, when we were when we were splitting, where where are we down here? Uh, yeah, down here. When we when we were splitting the uh, the fuel to go to Fredericksburg and to Richmond, it was figuring out which route was cheapest and then shipping it to that, and then yeah, so there you go. Right, uh, so that's why it all went to one place initially, but it did figure it out. Um, and also, if two towns are supplied by the same route, one might be prefer preferred if the shipping cost to distance ratio favours one of them. So again, same thing. So it's like, yeah, does it is it cheaper to ship it to Fredericksburg? Yeah, well, we'll ship it to Fredericksburg then. And then Fredericksburg like gets a turn and then it goes, yeah, well, I should ship some over here as well. So there you go. So that should explain um, like quite a bit of the uh, quite a bit of the behaviour. Um, without question, explanation of these uh, game mecha mechanics should be improved. So I, I don't know. So hopefully they'll be, um, they'll be maybe add something into the game to kind of explain that better. That would be good. Um, if you think you stumbled across bugs or other e uh, unexplained issues, feel free to contact us and we'll have a look at it. Anyway, thanks for your great videos. Uh, so, thank you, Tom. Uh, I really appreciate that. And one thing, I, you know what? I'm going to write back to Tom um, and I'm going to ask him specifically for some tips on how to make airports work. Right now, I kind of sort of got airports working in this, but I, I think we need um, I think we need some guidance because I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to work better than this. But I, I like I don't know what else to do to, uh, to to make them work. So there you go. Anyway, um, the poll results. Well, like almost a thousand of you voted. And um, the result was totally clear cut. 70 percent of you said, yeah, end this map, start a new one. And I think you're right. Um, in fact, I know you're right, because when I came in here initially uh, to record this, I thought, you know what, um, it'd be kind of interesting to see, like, if, like, adding these these um, these new routes, so this fuel route down here, and uh, and changing this fuel route uh, up at uh, Utica, um, like, how much difference would that make, and, and how, much would, how much money would they make on those lines, and would it enable me to kind of carry this on and whatever? And when I looked at it, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, oh, I've got to put in a distribution thing over here, and I've got to put in all the signals, and and like it shouldn't be like that, right? It shouldn't feel like a chore, right? The passion has gone for this map, not for Transport Fever, right? When I started playing this map, I was so into it. I mean, I loved preparing the map. I loved putting in like what we've put in so far. It was just the industry crap and not making enough money that just took the fun out of it. So there will be a new series. Um, I'm going to take a little break because when I come back to this, I want to come back to it fresh with passion, and and I want to like get a map that that really works, that really excites me, and we can do some cool things, and I can do some aesthetic stuff as well as um, as well as kind of playing the game. So if you've got ideas for uh, for maps or scenarios or whatever that you'd like me to play, um, I like. I mean, I could do the campaign. Is it worth doing the campaign? I, have, I haven't really looked at the campaigns. Let me know. So if you've got ideas, if you've got suggestions, whatever, then uh, then leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, and I just want to say thanks for watching the series. I like. 
up until probably like episode 20, I was having a blast playing this. Uh, and maybe that's a thing. Maybe, maybe it didn't, like using the four times mod and like so many episodes. I don't know. Maybe it just went on too long. So maybe maybe the next series needs to needs to just like move on a bit quicker. So there you go. All right, guys. Uh, I will catch you for the next one in the next series. Thanks for watching. Peace out.